have something very important I want to stress. Your power lead gets a lot of tension, so it's a good idea to use a tie down to secure it so it doesn't get pulled out. We're going to do that now before we attach the top plate because it's much easier. These wires here for the LED and the power, we can just bind these together. And very simple, we have two holes here. One slit there and a hole here. And we're going to run this tie-on through both of them and secure it. I like to hide the knuckle of the tie-on by putting it on the inside. And to do that, I simply am going to take it over the power wires and through the hole in the bottom. And from there, I'm just going to go into the other hole, just like that. Flipping around, you'll see inside the tie-on now, I have cradled the two power wires and the two LED wires and nothing else. So at that point, let's just push this through so we have most of the tail coming up the outside end and the knuckle on top of the wires pretty much. At that point, simply just slide that end in and start ratcheting it down. Again, I want to make sure that I'm pushing. Here's another tip. See the, the bulge there? Put your finger on it to hold it flat. While it's flat, you can start ratcheting that down. You might have to push some more plastic through there as you ratchet it down and keep pushing that ball down so we don't have that ugly look. When you are done, make sure that your XT60 connector is flush and not recessed and then ratchet that down as far as you can. Take your diagonal cutters and cut the excess off. There we go. Now we have a tie-on nicely securing our power wires and our LED wires and that's going to take the stress off of them. If we should have a crash and yank on the XT60, it's not going to put undue stress on these wires and pull it out of the power distribution board. So it's very important to tie that down well to protect your XT60 and power leads to the power distribution board.